Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we're going to be building this. I'm going to call it a medieval A-frame. Because I don't really know what else to call it. It's kind of a nifty little house, though, to make a great survival house. Because it kind of sneakily incorporates all sorts of cool things that you might want. So in here... We've got a couple of beds, or we've got a, a fancy bed. You could, obviously, if this was in survival, put normal beds there instead. We've got a chimney here that leads into two furnaces. There's plenty of room for storage, crafting, all sorts of stuff. It's not a very super fancy build, but it's got some cool shapes and some interesting ideas with the roof, so I figured I'd share it. And uh, that's pretty much it. We'll just do a quick fly around. You can see the windows kind of sticking out a little bit. But there you have it, guys. So, I think I've done enough talking. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. Okay, so to start off, you're going to take some stone brick stairs, and we're just going to lay them down in a line like this. Now, this whole area is 14 by 12. So, it's a 14 by 12 area. And that will encompass the entire house in that one little small area. So we're going to lay down two lines of stone bricks. And then we're going to lay down right behind them upside down stone bricks, just like that. There we go. Now, the roof is actually a little bit easier than it looks. It's not a very complicated roof because it's the same repeating design over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is basically lay down on top of this inverted stair a stone brick. On top of that stone brick block, we'll put a stone brick stair, and then attached to that on the back, we'll put an inverted stone brick stair, just like that. And that's going to give us this kind of steeper roof, which is what we're looking for in this build. Now, we're going to do the same thing on both sides. And this is probably the most time-consuming part of the build, is getting the roof right the way you want it. There we go. So we'll do something like that, and then on top, you can just go ahead and put a couple of stairs like that. So it should have this shape once you're done. Now, what we're going to do next is, let me go over here and just grab some materials. We need those and those and uh, those and um, uh, those. And where are my spruce wood planks? There we go. Got it. Nailed it. Okay, so now we're basically just going to match up this framework with what we just laid. So it's going to go something like this. Pretty easy, right? So we'll just kind of lay these down. And actually, let's not worry about these parts just yet. Let's only worry about the stairs and the blocks that will be visible from the outside. Now, for this, we're using oak wood planks and oak wood stairs because I haven't used oak for a while. I don't I don't use as much oak as I should, so I figured why not? I thought it was a good kind of color for this medieval uh, type theme that we're going with. So I figured why not? We'll go with this. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Now we'll lay all of these down and then let's see here if I remember correctly it is also oak wood stairs. I think I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. But we're going to lay them down and hope that that's right. There we go. And then we're going to come down here to the bottom and do the same thing that we just did on the other side. So just like this. Now, guys, this is the 50th, or I'm sorry, that's not right. This is the 49th episode of 15 Minute Builds. 49 episodes. And that means that the 50th episode is going to be next Monday. So guys, in celebration of 50 episodes of 15 Minute Builds, what I'm going to do is in the next one, I'm going to put a world download. And I'm thinking of maybe making that 
a longer build as well. I might make that into like a special 30 minute uh, episode just because, it, you know, 50 episodes, that's a lot of episodes. That's one of my longest running series. In fact, this series has been around pretty much since my channel started. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got that laid down. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is actually, let's do this first. We're going to take stone brick again, and we're basically just going to mirror this same exact shape. So we're kind of outlining the whole roof in stone brick, just like that. There we go. And then we'll do the same with the stone brick blocks themselves, like that. There we go. Looking good. Now, in the undersides, on these little corners, we're going to mix in some stone brick stairs as well, just to give this a little bit more, um, a little bit more substance, because otherwise it looks kind of goofy. So we'll do that. Now, coming in right here, we're going to lay down some spruce wood planks. We're going to do the same right here. And then starting right here, we'll lay down spruce wood planks as well. So basically, you're going to end up with a shape that looks kind of like this. And we're going to do that on all of the sides. And this will be kind of the basic shape of the interior of the house. There we go. And right there. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just kind of frame that up. And that's going to actually get to pretty much the entire build. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll probably need to lay down some torches in here in just a minute. Otherwise, you guys are not going to be able to see anything. So let me grab a couple of torches and I'll just kind of spam them just for the moment, like that. There we go, whatever. Okay, now, let's see, that's good. And right here, right next to the upside down stone brick stairs, we're gonna lay down spruce planks, just like this. And what that is going to do is basically give us a little bit more space on the inside than what you'd think. Because it looks, it's actually a pretty spacious house compared with what you see on the outside. And that was kind of one of the things that I wanted to accomplish with this house, was to make it fairly, uh, you know, fairly spacious, fairly cozy. I mean, it's not huge, but it's hard to do huge in 15 minutes. So, next thing we'll do is we'll take out the floor in here. And the floor is going to be oak wood planks. That's the other thing that I really like about this build is all of the materials in this build are very, very easy to get in vanilla, in survival. It's oak, spruce, and stone. That is it. There's no quartz, there's no nether brick, there's no glowstone. It's all really, really easy stuff to obtain. So that makes it a little bit easier. This is a house that you could build pretty quickly, honestly. Like, within your first couple of days... Um, on a in a new world you could probably build this whole entire house which is pretty awesome if i do say so myself so what we will have are windows and we're just going to kind of chop out the windows you're going to count in one two blocks go one more and then basically just make a square so like that and one two there we go so there is one window now here, above this window line, and between this window, you should have two blocks, which is exactly what we have. So that is good. Now, let's see. Um, why do I have three blocks here? Did I mess something up? Ooh, I did. I messed something. I messed it something up, guys. I don't know what I messed up, but I definitely messed something up. Did I extend the house a little bit? New, no. coming back this way. Oh, I did. I did extend the house a little bit. Okay, well that's fine. So it's actually a 15 by 12 area 
And actually, I prefer this anyway. I was a little bit unhappy with the size of the house previously. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in upside down oak stairs like that. And then the parts that are not the upside down oak stairs, we're going to put in spruce. So let's do that. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, we're going to kind of fill in some of these gaps right here. And we can just do plain old oak like that. I think that should be fine. Now let's grab... Here we go, oak wood slabs. That's what we need. And we're going to fill those in at this level, lining up with the top of those stairs that we just placed down. And what that's going to do is give us kind of a ceiling right here. This spot we're going to punch out, and we're going to put... Uh, actually, let's put a couple torches up real quick. There we go. That spot, we're going to put a ladder. So you can actually get up to the second floor. Because that's always a good thing when you can get up to the second floor in your house. So we're going to need snow. We're going to need snow. And we're going to need red wool. There we go. And we'll put two things of red wool like that. Two snow. And one block of wood. Or one block of wood. One little patch of snow. And then around it, we're going to surround it with oak wood slabs. And that way the bed doesn't look... It looked a little bit too big to me before. So this looks pretty good. Now, it still needs some things. Ooh, that we don't want. And that still needs to be there. Did I do anything with this before? I don't think so. I think this is kind of how it was. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some braces. But I'm not really sure how I want to work those in just yet. Let's go take a look at the other house over here. Okay, so we had them coming up. Oh, that's what I did in the other house. Got it. Got it. So these actually all get removed. All of those stairs. And we just fill that in with spruce planks. Just like that. There we go. That looks much better. Now we can put in our braces. And those are going to go... Um, let's put them... Let's put them in two from the wall like this. How are we doing for time? 12 minutes. Okay, could be worse, could be worse. And let's put another brace right... Actually, no, let's not put a brace there because we're going to put a window there. And let's do like a little three-wide window. I think that will look pretty good. And take our oak planks. There we go. Okay, so now, the windows. The windows are not nearly as complicated as you might think. Spruce wood planks. Normal stairs, just like that. Spruce wood planks. Normal stairs. Normal stairs. Get the idea? Pretty straightforward. Now, you could certainly come up with a more detailed and intricate window design. That would be quite good, in fact, because this one I'm not super, super happy with the way the windows look, but I'm limited by what I can do in 15 minutes, so keep that in mind. Now here, we're going to put upside down stairs like this, and then we're going to come out to this side and do something like that. Do I like that? I don't think I do. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. This'll... This'll work, I guess. I still don't know if I like that. It's a little bit different on that house because that house is only a two-wide window instead of a three. But I want it to be symmetrical. So I guess this is what we will work with. 
There we go. So that will do. Now let's clear our inventory and start grabbing some detail blocks. So we need cobble. Oh man, I am running out of time really quick. We might go a little bit over on that one. If we do, it's not that big of a deal. But we need cobble and let's see. We need to take out a spot right here. And we're going to go furnaces, two cobblestone walls like that. And then we're going to put a chimney right there. So that looks good. Let's come on, get out of my inventory. And then finally, spruce wood. Yeah, we're definitely going over. I'm not finishing this in time. That's okay. These things happen. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. And we need light gray stained glass. We're not going to go over by much, though. Let's put in the windows. And I'm just using light gray stained glass for this. You can certainly use whatever you'd like. There we go. Oh, almost missed a window. There we go. Much better. And we'll put a window in like that. And then a window here as well. And then all that's left to do... Oh, and... Doors. Almost forgot doors. Take out those stairs and put in chisel blocks. And then run some spruce logs down from those chisel blocks, just like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. That we'll deal with in a minute. There we go. Like so. And then we're going to take some stone brick stairs and put them over the window. So it's going to form a shape like that when you're done. So that looks pretty good. Now, since we've already gone over the time a little bit, I don't mind going over it just a tiny bit more so that we can kind of beautify the area and make it look a little bit prettier. So let's just grab some coarse dirt and some gravel and maybe a little bit of unpolished andesite. And we're just going to kind of mix some of this in randomly like that. How's that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, other basic landscaping, grab some bone meal, and we'll just kind of bone meal the area. I need that to be filled. We'll just kind of bone meal the area around the house. Make it look a little bit more alive. Clear the path just a little bit. And that looks good to me. So I'm going to call it done at 17 minutes and 2 seconds. So I went a little bit over the time, but that's okay. It definitely looks better because I did. So we've got it all finished up. And there you have it, guys. A medieval A-frame house. Looking fancy. Looking fancy. So guys, keep an eye out next time for the world download. Also, you totally didn't see that. And you didn't see that either. It's all in your mind, people. It is all in your mind. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time. And all we gotta do then is flip... Flip the lever, the oh, flip the flip, wow. just flip of the lever. Flippity flip, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, the English, the yep. English is a thing. Yep. So. You're speaking Minecraft lingo and you're trying to mix it with a little bit of English and I know what you're doing.